Welcome, 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 welcome to the Eyes on Podium podcast. I'm now here with my brothers, oh my God. Coach Chris uh-huh. and Henderson Bell, the realtor. Henderson Bell, that's not my name. You, that's you, your, that's your H- name. HB. Oh, I thought it was a, a O to me. No. I didn't know you was doing your name. This whole time, I thought it was, this is episode 34. This whole time, I thought you was doing HB for me. For you. Yeah, for the you. realtor. Yeah, cause cause you remember I told you I had a dream I was a realtor one time, and I thought you was like, oh, let me just can you just start my in, intro? You had, started. Dr- you had a dream you was me. No, I had a dream I was a realtor, and then that, and I and you know my first name <laughs> uh-huh. is HB. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. I thought you were first name. Your first name is HB. Yeah, that's what I go by. I thought you was. I thought you were putting the HB the realtor for me. I uh-huh. thought you was like tr- trying to look up to me, you know, like in a big brother little brother way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was I thought, H- I thought it was H A. Let's start the show. <laughs> Episode thirty four. Yeah. I don't read no comments. I don't care what they say. In time, place, we can talk about it. But last night I was wild. Made 2K over 2K, it's a new day and I'm back to problem. Bank account be crowded. By next June, need five rooms, soundproof, watch them doubt it. Hey, they try to talk me out of here. I done wasted some greatness just sitting there trying to think about it. I go try my ring and give all of my homies rollies. I'm a hot pig, rolling with me, gonna be low key. Best believe it's more of us, but today I'm dolly. Grab me by. Yes, sir. The new look Lakers look amazing right now. They are Buddy. in the process of punching, destroying the New Orleans Pelicans. Mm, 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 mm. So, and this, 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 this brings a, a question to us: like, what's happening next season, following season? What's the future for this team? At that guard position, that at that lead guard position, Kyrie Irving is, might be here this summer. D'Angelo Russell mm. said he wants to be the leader. He wants to be not the leader, but he wants to be the point guard of the future. You know what I mean? He feels like this is a second chance. The city's loving it. He's balling mm. the last couple of games. He's been back. He's like, yo, y'all mm. lucky. Y'all lucky my ankle got hurt because I was <laughs> ready for this. And against the Pelicans, what he did for his quarter, Chris. Uh, I guess the Pelicans first quarter. Nine threes. Nine threes. That's a lot. Game not over yet, but 25 points in the first half against the Knicks last game. 28 the game before that. Balling. Mm-hmm. I mean, so now, I mean, the Lakers look like they got a team now. You know what I mean? They got a couple pieces um, that can, that can, that can, that can help them. So, I mean, what y'all, what y'all see from the squad? What y'all see from the squad? Well, I mean, just to your point just now, I mean, just seeing D'Angelo back and his attitude, that's that's the one thing that stands out to me, his attitude. Like, he wants to be here. He sound, right. It sounded like he wanted to get out of Minnesota. He was grateful yeah. to get out of Minnesota. What's he, in Minnesota? His, his excitement and his 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 passion, the way he wants to lead, his... He seems like he's trying to bring a new positive, fun energy to this Lakers squad to finish the season out strong. Yeah, like you said, he just he just told the Lakers fans. He said the the rest of the NBA was lucky I got hurt. He said I was, right. He said I was ready to turn up. Right. And since he's been back from his ankle injury, that's that's what he's been doing, averaging 30, 30 and a half points a game, shooting sixty four percent from the field. That's amazing. Uh, fifty fifty eight percent from three, and along with that, eight and a half assists. He's no, I know it's just two games, but he he's he's been balling. And to your point too, I think he can be the point guard of the future because even if you add Kyrie in the summertime, Kyrie's a shooting guard. Mm. That's 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 what Kyrie's strength is. It's in the scoring. Right. Right. You will relieve Kyrie of the of the um responsibility of having to to facilitate on a team. Right, it's kind of sort of what's going on right now over there in um in Dallas. I feel he doesn't like, have. I feel like he has because of the offense, he can do it. Yeah, I it's it's really the AD thing though for me too. Like 
I feel like the D'Angelo AD thing, I feel like D'Angelo helps AD become, be better. Like he can play better with, um, with D'Angelo because of the pick and roll situation, right? right. D'Angelo's amazing yeah. in the pick and roll. Um, right. He's looking, he's looking to do either or, pass or score, right? Um, and with LeBron, I, I mean, how do you feel, Henny? How do you feel like he can play with LeBron off ball and on ball, giving Le, like taking some pressure off LeBron ball handling uh, time? What, what do you feel about that? So to the to the to the the question of the day, uh, is he the point guard of the future? That depends on on a lot of factors. Like you said, LeBron is is Le, LeBron is a ball dominant player. So right. you know, then you just become a a spot up shooter, Russ. Patrick Beverly, um, that's that's just what happens. He takes a lot. He takes a lot from from stars. So D'Angelo, being who he is, he's good at playing off ball as it as it sees. AD is taking taking over, but Russ is the second guy right now. But when LeBron comes back, it's going to be it, it, yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a little different. And only two people that could stop him from having a, a good future is LeBron and Father Time. I think LeBron has to give up running the one and become a spot up himself for for Russell to shine. You know, I think I think that works. I I, I think LeBron taking a taking not not say taking a step back, but um having Russell lighten the low for him because it works right. Like that that lineup of Russell. Um, Beasley, Braun, Vanderbilt, and AD. AD, yeah. That's that's a they can run with that uh, that lineup, right? Like they can run right. with that lineup. Even though LeBron, obviously, he likes to control the pace. He likes to walk up the floor a lot of times. He, it's so crazy that he still leads the league in um fast break points. That's kind of nut, nutty to me. But yeah, that's um, insane. But yeah, but I I feel like those two things, those two things that that he does well. Can help, can help help the team, and I think yeah. D'Angelo Russell enhances that. He's a he's a combo guard, and combo guards are LeBron's best friend. You see, you see, you've seen it. D Wade, Kyrie, right? He loves he loves he loves a combo guard, and D'Angelo D'Angelo could be that. He 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 he's a score first, not really a point guard. He's a score first guard, so on uh, it, it could work. I I could see it working. I could see, I could see him, I could see him staying a long time. The LeBron, when he plays with people, he gets them paid. But and look, they, <laughs> but look, look like, uh, D'Angelo Russell's already he's a he's an all star. He's a former all star. Agree. He's a former all star. I mean, I feel like he can he can really he can really uh take this team to the next level. Um. What you gonna say, Chris? To my point. To my point earlier, right? I wanted to say I feel like he's definitely an underrated leader. Like, a, like continuing on with the whole positive energy and right, his, him wanting to be there and he wants to be the guy to bring that fun and joy back to the Lakers organization and squad right. this season. I feel like he's an underrated leader because he's done something very like underrated in his. And that he does, I don't think he gets a lot of credit for in 2018, 2019. Right. No one had the Brooklyn Nets. He led the Brooklyn Nets to the playoffs. Yeah. Well, that was after, I believe, they traded away uh, Darren Williams. Um, I forgot who they lost. But they lost They lost a lot of pieces. And yeah, but they it's the whole star in five. Yeah, they had them. They had, they had them. No one had the Nets going anywhere. He yeah. Shocked, he yeah. shocked the world that yeah. year. Yeah, bench mob, right, bench mob, and, and led them right to the playoffs, which is pretty right. difficult to do. I feel like he doesn't get enough credit for that. And now he's in a role where he's gonna be leading in certain aspects with mm-hmm. bringing that positive energy, right? But he doesn't have to be the number one guy or number one leader with LeBron. So you feel, feel like, like his time in Minnesota helped him with that? I feel like, to me, I just feel like. He was probably not in a good space in Minnesota. I feel like yeah. he was probably in a space where he didn't have any fun because it looked when I saw 
I had saw when he was on his way to LA. Yeah. And the level of excitement he had. It he was, was like happy. the joy it was like the joy was brought back to the game. Right. Like, yeah. I feel like I haven't really heard him talk like this before. Right. Right. Because it's so, Minnesota. Who's interviewing anybody in Minnesota? Do they even have cameras out there? I have no <laughs> idea. It doesn't seem like a fun place to be. It's probably miserable. It's probably always cold. It's probably snowing in the summer. It sounds horrible, but being in LA with a, where it's always shiny, sun's right. always out. They right. bring you know, like like HBO always tell me, the weather just just changes your change your attitude. Whole, it change your whole, you mood. know. And look, this uh, this 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 Laker team looks looks very very fun to watch. Without LeBron, they look very fun to watch. And if they could, if after after LeBron leaves, if the core is AD and D'Angelo Russell, I I um. I don't mind watching that. They look exciting with with these role players around them. AD pick and roll. It looks looks fun. It looks fun. So that brings us to our next point, our next our next topic. Like, can the Lakers make a real run in the playoffs? You know what I mean? Like, they were fifth seed or sixth seed the other day. I mean, they're all from five to like twelve. They are all the same, right? They are one game apart yeah. or something. Um. Right. Can can they make a real run? What you what do you what you what you what you think, Chris? Can they make a real run? Absolutely. I feel like everything is up in the air in the West. It's not it's no secret that everyone every team is dealing with injuries, right? Right. Every team is dealing with the same thing. The LA doesn't have their leader right now. Right. You know, but they're they're still holding it down. Like, and again, I know I keep harping on I'll keep going on about D'Angelo Russell, but he even said it too. He said, yo. To, we holding it down for AD. Right. AD's been holding it down. Like you know, he's he's letting his players know, like, yo, y'all, we're giving the credit. We got y'all back. So I mm-hmm. think I think this environment that is being brought around that D'Angelo Russell is bringing to the Lakers organization is gonna just cr- make the environment even better for them as a whole team, which is only gonna elevate their level of play. Every I feel like basketball is all about your environment. Players that want to be there, players that want to play, players that care about each other, players that have each other's back, backs. Mm-hmm. So right. I just feel like the Lakers are, like right now, I feel like this I is mean, a testament tonight. They are dominating the Pelicans. Dominating. Granted, the Pelicans are still a formidable, formidable team right now, even without Zion. They're still a good team. Yeah. Right? I mean, the Lakers are seven and three. Their last ten, and they're seven and three. Right. Crazy. So. They're they're beating down on a on a Pelicans team in their playoff building. team right playoff now. Playoff team at like that, like dominating them. So so this we is, gonna without LeBron, we gonna look at it like this. They they they, they the ninth seed right now. I think mm, I think they'll they'll end up being what they'll eight be, seven, eight seven maybe eight so, seven. They could. You don't think I they think. could catch think, the Clippers? The Clippers I, are thirty six and thirty three. I feel like I just, think the Clippers are going up. Yeah. yeah, I I feel that's what I feel the same. So they so yeah. they so they could they could get eight and seven. And right now the the one and the two seed are Denver and Memphis. Right. I can see Dallas and Minnesota going down. I think I think they take. I, see, I, I think they could beat Memphis. They could beat Memphis. I don't see. No, no, no. I I I, I agree. I just yeah. don't see any of the top six seeds leaving that are like. You think they? Yeah, lock. I don't see. Yeah, I think that I think the top six seeds in the West right now are locked: Denver, Memphis, Sacramento, Phoenix, Golden State, and the Clippers. I think they are locked right now. Mm. Mm. So I think the bottom is what's going to fluctuate between yeah. the seven and the nine. I think that the Lakers could get to the seven seed. Yeah, if they could, if they if they get the seven, they just got to win one game. That's it. Yeah, I mean they clearly going to be in the plan. If they, if that's the case, and they 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 just have yeah. to win 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 to the yeah to get to the but do they who they who they want to see the do they want to see Denver do they want to see Memphis? Well, I'm talking about let's talk about the playing first. Yeah, I was gonna say let's talk about the playing first. Who they want to see the Mavs or the or Timberwolves? I think the Lakers are fine against anybody, regardless. They they still got to win. I think that's they're regardless. good against Minnesota. I think they'll have no problem against Minnesota. Yeah, I think they'll have no problem against Dallas. And I think they have no problem against the Pelicans. I don't. I don't think it's a, a, a who they want to see. I think it's more of where they want to be because you right. have. I yeah. want to play one game. I just want yeah. To play. 
don't matter who it is. It don't matter who it is. As long as I get to play one game, I'm going all out. Instead of instead of being like the tenth seed, now the tenth seed, you gotta win two. No, no if ands or buts. Yeah, seven, 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 seven and nine. Seven and nine. Seven and nine. Have to win one. Have to win one. Here's the, here's right. the thing, though, guys. Here's and the, the loser has to beat the uh, other team. Uh, cats, cats coming back soon. Cats oh, were they soon. were they good with him? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Listen, Anthony, that was I'm holding, Anthony Edwards. Anthony's been holding, it down. holding if I'm, it down. If I'm if I'm that organization, I'm trading Cat. Get get four first round picks for Cat, and build around build around Ant. What's the Knicks? But they in a, they in a win now situation. Who? The 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 uh. Minnesota, they don't have no picks to give. They gave it all to for Gobert. That's what, I, that's so what I'm saying. Are... So they can, they should trade, call Anthony Anthony Towns. Cap. Oh yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Trade Anthony, call Anthony Towns for some picks, four picks. You can get four first round picks with Carl Anthony Towns, and you can get three first round picks and two pick swaps for Carl Anthony Towns, for yeah. sure, for sure. Go trade him to Atlanta or Orlando. You know what I'm saying? Like those are great. Those are great teams. Like if you trade, if if Cat gets traded to Orlando, that's a that's a great team for him. He got some good young players there. They got the picks. I'll do it. I, they, yeah, I they're feel automatically like, I feel like, they're automatically I like, in the plan. I feel like bringing certain <laughs> players like that. I'm into, just saying. I feel like I feel like it's difficult for a team, right, to bring certain players into certain. Like yeah, Cap, putting takes Cap away from position. Pablo, man. Yeah, Pablo, Pablo's the man. Listen, listen, listen. listen. It's not how about, it's about ego, right? These young kids, they're playing, and then it's like I just feel like it's a lack of chemistry bringing like an older veteran in that wow. is still yeah younger still vet. Feeling, he's a younger vet, but I'm just saying like that still feels like he's a guy. Yeah, it would take like it's team, gonna be a battle. I know what you're saying. It's gonna take the ball out of. It's gonna take the ball out of Pablo. Of, and that's not what you want. A lot of friction. That's not what you want, bro. He's twenty seven years old. Be... Yeah, but he's still, he's still he's still he's still capable. How old is Pablo? Probably like twenty one, twenty two. I mean, he's he's a rookie. He's his rookie, but I mean, he's getting an all star. He's getting an all star big. He don't have that. An all star big. And he's and he's a, a he is the all star big who don't work who don't work hard enough who don't work hard enough right cat Why Anthony Towns he's just oh, a wow. talent that that's talent he does not he does not work hard have you not seen why Jimmy left I mean like, that's what I'm saying if it if it was a player that that works Jimmy, hard Jimmy has Stor- some type of real work at work ethic that is known for that then yeah I think it could work but. Carl mm-hmm. Anthony Towns is not somebody that wants to be pushed hard. Like, Jimmy Jimmy that, Butler beat beat the starting five, the starting lineup, starting four, with with what four bench players in practice. I mean, that was a long time ago. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. I'm, that's an example of not working hard. You can't beat four bench players. Uh, I don't know. That's 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 kind of that's kind of. I don't know. I, I would say that's kind of that's kind of tough to say. Like that's that was a, that was a long time ago. He still it was a long time ago. Yeah, but he's still he's still Carl Anthony Towns. He's still a top player in the league. And if once he once he get, if he gets on a winning organization, I think he can he can help some young players. We're, he's still a young player himself, we're, though. We're, we're, I'm I not mean, putting him with a young player. I'm not putting him with a young player. Look, we 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 already here. We already here. So. Where would you, where would you trade Carl Anthony Towns? Like, where do you think would be a good fit for him? Like, bro, we already here. Let's just mix. Some mix. somewhere where so, somewhere where where they gonna they gonna be on him. I think I think I think Trailblazers is a is a team he could he could he could fit in. The Trailblazers. But, that's a good. That's yeah. a good squad. Where where you got Dame who who works hard who who works hard he works hard so. Having a having an all star center would would definitely help. They would help each other. It would definitely help each other. I think I think Portland is a great trade. It's a great it's a great landing spot for him. 
Dame. He can hold, he can help Dame. He could be the second tier. T- he could be the second star of the day. That makes sense. He just need to be be with somebody who has mentality. You know, he can't be. He can't be. He's in the. Sorry, not to cut you off, Chris, but his 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 rookie is Anthony Edwards, who's doing the same thing he's doing, and he's seeing how it is. It's just Anthony Edwards is a talent. He just has talent, pure talent. No, no, no working hard. No work. He's eating hot Cheetos after practice. Like he's he, Carl Anthony is a talent too. He's a ta- he doesn't he never had to work hard. I don't know. So, I don't know. I don't know about that. I, I think Carl Anthony Towns would disagree with you about him not not working hard. I mean he he came at he Eddie came Eddie at, that's job. He came at Ant Man about not working hard or eating Popeyes and stuff like that. And he literally said like you got to be able to take care of your body and I should teach him better. So I think Carl Anthony Towns is the is a better vet than you guys are giving him credit for. You gonna listen to Carl Anthony Towns? Nah. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. And that's just me outside looking in. That's all. That's just me outside looking in. I'm not listening to Carl Anthony Towns. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him go I get think, the rebound. I have a location I think he could go to. Where? I think he would go to Dallas. Mm. They don't got the, they don't got the picks. That trade can't I'm, work. Yeah, you don't got the picks. I'm sending I'm sending Christian Wood. They don't want nothing that you got in Dallas. <laughs> they don't have nothing. They give. It's all right, bro. We out of here. Call Anthony Towns. Go to Portland. Go help my man Dame get a chip, baby. That's it. <laughs> you know we have to get here. We win 40 games, Ooh. baby. Next win 40 games. How far can they go? You tell me, Henny. You was dreaming about that, that, that fourth seed. You still dreaming about the fourth seed? No. My eyes are wide open now. What does that mean? Five six, five six. That's what it's looking like. <laughs> and it, it, I, 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 the the Knicks, the Knicks schedule doesn't even get any any easier at that. So it's like, what's their schedule? Oh, so know. they play. Yeah, I got it right here. So they play. We play. We're playing. Um, Portland tonight. Portland, tonight. Portland tonight. Oh, let me scroll down. All right, we play Portland tonight. Nuggets, Timberwolves, Heat, Magic, Rockets, Heat, Cavaliers, Wizards, Pacers, Pelicans, Pacers. I had three losses. And that's kind of. I do at, too. I had three losses. At most. At most. At most. Is that again? Slowly. Go to go again slowly. Slowly. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Blazers, uh-huh. Nuggets, uh-huh. Timberwolves, Heat, uh-huh. Magic. Rockets, Heat, Cavaliers, Wizards, Pacers, Pelicans, Pacers. Yeah, I could see us. I could see us losing to Denver. Nine, that's nine wins. That's nine wins. I could see us losing to Denver. That's one loss. I could see them losing to one of those Miami Miami Heat games. I can't see them beating the Heat twice, three times straight. That's a lot. Um, and it's just the Heat that this that it's just the Heat culture. Heat coming. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yep. and and then you know they have the Knicks. That last game. They tired of us. The Knicks have the rivalry. You know how that go. We got the you know my so I I'll say one of they always play us tough. So one one of those games I would say. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I said I think Knicks drop one win. And that that Cavaliers game is gonna be tough. Um, but I think both teams will want to send a message. So that's gonna be a playoff game tough. So that's a toss up. Um, so you have to about. In the in the playoffs? No, I'm talking about on the schedule. I'm saying I think the Knicks are gonna beat the Nuggets. You think the Knicks will beat the Nuggets at home? Yes. Yes. <laughs> why do you think why, that? Why believe. do you think that? Tell me why you think that. Well, Elaborate. They just lost to the Raptors. Oh, they got they, smoked. They just lost to Brooklyn. They're reeling. Yeah, but maybe, maybe they, maybe, maybe, maybe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are the Knicks better than the Raptors? Okay. The... Answer yes or no. I think that the Knicks cannot beat the Raptors in the seven game series. Let me ask you that. Are the Knicks better than the Raptors? I don't know. Henny, your mic is out. 
The Raptors have our number. Yeah. I know. I didn't say. I understand that. It's tricky because, bro, they 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 two guards like. All right, all right. Are they are they better than Brooklyn? The Raptors. On paper, the Knicks are better. On paper, the Knicks are better. But in the set, like I agree, in the seven game series, I don't know. I don't know. Because they they just have our number. I, I don't, don't know I what don't it get is. It. I don't get it. I don't get the it. Net, they, the no matter what he no, no the Raptors. Raptors. I said just, the Nets. Are they better than the Nets? The Knicks. Yes. I mean, listen. They both. That's that's the question. Oh they, my god. <laughs> <laughs> Would, really dis- would, would you try to bait us that? I know I dislike. I can, would you try it. to bait us that? Would, would you try I to bait us that? Try nothing. The Knicks are better than both of those teams. All right. Okay. And so, what's okay. your point? So they beat both of those teams. They lost to the all those teams. They gonna lose to the Knicks? Yes. <laughs> just it's, as simple as that. It's just that simple. <laughs> just that simple. I, I like know, that man. thinking. It's a great line of, line to think about. I don't know, man. I mean, right now, look, I see the Knicks going. How many games they got left, honey? About, what's this? One, two, three, four. Nah, definitely not no fifteen. What is this? Ten, twelve games. Twelve games. Yeah. So I see them going nine and three. Yeah, twelve. Ah, games. that's forty-nine wins. Forty-nine wins. wins. Did not just say nine nine wins. I just told you that. Nine and three. Fifty wins is a lot. Look, Taylor Brunson is out, man. We need him back. I mean, that's we need to go back to the, we need to go back and find the point. Whatever. You need to go back and what? You cutting off? Yeah, you cutting out. Stay close to your mic. Sorry, we need to go back to the potting to the episode where we said how many wins the Knicks were gonna get. Yeah, we got we got to pull up the we got to pull up the uh the I'll, I'll try to find the, it. We gotta pull up the receipts. Pull, pull up the receipts. We got to pull Boy, up the I don't receipts. I want to see. I want to see cuz I remember 50 and it was like, "Eh." I mean, I I look, listen, 49 49 and 30 what? Whatever. 49 and 33? Yeah, they're 40 and 30. Yeah, so it'll be 33. I think that game against Denver, hopefully, um, what's his name? Play Jalen Brunson plays. If he don't play, we lose that game. Granted, right, 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 right. So that's all contingent on Brunson's availability. Yeah, because right. he's, he's out right now. Right, right, exactly. So that them that nine and three record to finish out the season is all contingent on Brunson. Yeah, he just lost three games in a row after be after going nine straight. You just lose. Three. You just lose. You win nine straight and then lose three in a row. You know what I mean? They they pick up the tough win against LA, who was on a three three uh three game winning streak. Yeah, they, tough win. Hartenstein looked like I mean the, he really bothered AD. You know what I mean? AD went eight for eighteen. They don't look too bad. Seventeen seventeen, but they don't look too bad. But they we we the just games, lock them up. That's it. The games before that, he was getting thirty nine and twenty and. Crazy right. numbers. That's a, that's a bad night for AD. That's my point. That's my point. So you know what I mean? Like, I think it was. I think it was fire that that we was able. I don't think that was really good. That we was able to pick up that win. That 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 win was very, very, very. That was a must win game. I would say that. Yeah. Definitely must win game. Um, there's a team right above us, from right across the and right across the bridge. Um, the Brooklyn Nets. I know you said it before. Five six, pick up the sticks. Mm. They fifth seed. We the sixth seed. We fighting, man. And I say we. I say New York Knicks because I'm a Knicks fan. I bleed orange or blue, but I'm a Nets fan at the same time. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to the Brooklyn Nets, though. Shout out to the Brooklyn Nets. You know I watch y'all games every night. Whatever. Every. Don't shout out to you guys. I'm not going to shout you out. Hey, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a um. Brooklyn That's Bridges fan. Too. I'm a Brooklyn Bridges fan. I hate him so much that I moved to Jersey. Nets, the Nets blew a um, fourteen point lead. Mm. Mm. The Knicks are better than the Nets. I recant my statement. They're down by seven. They're down by seven. But game's not over, man. The game's not over. Um, I definitely see the Knicks moving up. Yeah. So if the Knicks move up over the Nets, right? The Knicks is fifty. They play. They play the Cleveland. Cleveland Cavaliers. Let's look at the Nets schedule. I got the 
when you're ready, I got the next schedule up. Yeah, let's let's pull up the next schedule first before I even. All right, you you ready? About, so so yeah. they're playing right. They playing the Thunder right. Yeah, they they playing the Thunder right now. They're down seven. Uh, they play the Kings, Nuggets, uh, Cavaliers, uh-huh. Cavaliers, uh, Heat, uh, Magic, uh, okay. Rockets, okay. Hawks, okay. Jazz, Timberwolves, okay. Pistons, Magic, 76ers. They got seven tough games. Uh, they got yeah. A lot of up and down over there. Yeah. <laughs> 12, 12 games as well. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's this is gonna be. It's a gonna race be, to the finish line. It is because there's gonna be the Nets are gonna lose games off the strength of missed chemistry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like, they've been winning. They won five of their last six. Right, but it, like today, if they lose today, this is gonna be a game they probably lose for the rest of the year. Stay close to your mic, Chris. Sorry, there's there's certain games. Perfect. Where it just comes down to That's perfect. You knowing each other's habits. Yeah. Yeah, right. You knowing each yeah. other's tendencies. Like you could win tough games, but there's gonna be certain games where it just mm-hmm. doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. You know? Like today, there's there's no reason they should have blew a fourteen point lead to OKC. Right. Right. These are the teams these are the teams you should beat. But at the same time, these are the teams where Little you'll lose because of little details, like little things yeah. that you don't do right with each other in a game. Not calling out picks, not here's calling a, out switches, a, not getting part. back, losing here's, momentum. Here's the crazy part. Um in the Western Conference, the nine to eleventh seed, they're all um well, Pelicans are gonna drop. So you have the Lakers, the Pelicans, and the Thunder. Thunder are thirty three and thirty five. Pelicans and Lakers are also thirty three and thirty five. At the end of tonight, Lakers will be 34 35, and the Thunder should be 34 35, right? So, I don't know about that. Late, look, five minutes Pelicans, left. Pelicans Lakers are made up. a run. Yeah. Oh my up, they gosh. Up. They are by 13. How you go from 40 to 13? Listen. I should have I bet that dollar. I knew it. While they was up 40, I should have bet that dollar. They're going to lose this. They're not going to lose. They're going to lose this. They're not going to lose. Let's turn another turnover. Another dunk. <laughs> They're not gonna lose. They're not gonna lose. They're not gonna lose. But yeah, so look. You guys got we all we all got the Knicks going fifth. We got uh Brooklyn going sixth. Um first round matchup. Cleveland Cavaliers, New York Knicks. Four five. Wait, wait, it's gonna be a tough matchup. Tough matchup. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be the toughest for, for Mitch. Because Mitchell Robinson, um, it's gonna be the toughest for Mitch because they just it's a lot of they got a lot of size down there. With, they don't got girth, and that's what Mitch is though. They don't got girth. Yeah, but it's still a lot. Hey, I just think it's a lot. It's a lot. I, I think, think I think Obley, Jared Allen, Jared Allen is just um, a, a a better better Mitchell. I disagree. And the length, I and then Mitchell the length you have. And then you, then who? Jared Allen. You mean the All Star? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I think he's better. <laughs> How? To, How? Is, he's better. To... He's better in the restricted area as far as field goal percentage. He's better. He's a better rebounder. Um, defender. We can split here or there, because Mitch is a great defender as well. Amazing defender. So we can split here or there, but. I think Mitch is better than Jerry Allen. I'll just have to disagree. Yeah, I'm gonna disagree on that. I could probably look up the stats. Look up I'll, the stats. Just I want the stats. I know. I know. Jared Allen was an All Star. He was so a couple I, years ago. That's all I need to know. Last year. Last year. <laughs> off of what Mitchell is doing at a <laughs> higher level. Me. <laughs> I'm saying, like, I mean, I mean, I'm saying, like, this year, I think he's better. I think he's better. Let's pull up those numbers. I'm pulling it up right now. Please don't even bother. I Why? love reading stats. I like reading stats. Pull, pull it up. Pull I it got up. You. Mitchell Robinson. I'm pulling up Mitch stats right now. I need any other put some respect on Mitch name. I 
I mean, Mitch Mitch got the Knicks the top ten defense. Shout out to Basketball Reference too. They always got the compare and contrast. Beer. All right. So so um, yeah, he's so thirsty. Dude. He's so thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the I'll do the honors. Do the honors. Do <laughs> no. the honors. Do the honors. All I right, gotta so pull this up. Mitchell Robinson is averaging seven nine and seven and nine. What is what is because I mean obviously we're gonna just do base stats right just regular stats we're not gonna go we're gonna do this we're gonna do this season yeah right now yeah. what what, uh, what is Jared, Jared doing Jared Allen, uh fourteen and ten better shooting from the three point uh free throw he's shooting seventy percent Mitchell is shooting forty two percent that's that's it right there that was the four that's the fourteen points that's the the four four extra points <laughs> five extra points. <laughs> Jared Allen, Jared Allen is shooting eleven percent from the three point line. Mitchell has not taken one. Oh my god! Stretch that. big, stretch <laughs> big at minimum. <laughs> at minimum. Oh, that's hilarious. Jared Allen is stretch big. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Now listen, that's funny. That's funny. You see, but you you see Mitch stats right? Like, it's I'm not saying that crazy. It's not crazy. It's crazy. It's not crazy. You, you oh, we can help. We, you want to do the part thirty six, or you want to get, or you just want to go ahead and just call it a day. It depends. <laughs> yeah, you might want to call it a day. <laughs> that part thirty six ain't gonna help you none. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, what's on. what's oh. Mitchell's off? Yeah, bro, my, my best offensive rebound in the game. That's a lot. Mitchell, Mi- Mitchell, Mitchell is playing with another seven footer. I mean, um, Jared Allen is playing, playing with another seven footer and yeah. still managing to get double digit rebounds. I, f- I feel like th- I don't feel like Cleveland Cavaliers is going to be able to score with the Knicks. I don't feel like I feel like once the thing about it is that the Knicks have better perimeter defenders than yeah than the Cleveland Cavaliers, right? And the Cleveland Cavaliers has has better. Front line defenders. Mm-hmm. They have the be- they have the better player. That's that's the, the thing court. too. I disagree. I think Jalen Brunson would be the best player on the court. That's the question right there. I said that ah. scorer. No, no, no. Henny said best. They, they got the best player. Oh, oh, oh. I, I think I think Donovan Mitchell is the best player. That means to be determined. You know, I would love for I would love to be wrong. I would love for um Jalen Brunson to be the best player. But as it is right now, I think Mitchell is the best player. Yo, what do you rank Jalen Brunson amongst the top PGs in the East? Ooh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I think he's number two. I think he's number two. Who you got above him? James Harden. That's it. You you could listen. Yeah, James Harden. That's it. So let's go to the let's go to the points per game. What's his advanced? James, James 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 Harden James Harden is just doing too much right now. He's amazing. I don't know how he was an all star. That's actually disrespectful. I I agree with you. Yeah, James Harden is too good. He's been playing. He's been playing so well, and he's being very he's being disrespected. And I don't want to see the Philly. I don't want to see the uh, Philadelphia Sixers in the um in the playoffs. Not me. To that Philadelphia Sixers. Yeah, I got I got Brunson as two. You got Brunson. Yeah. So you have you have you this, have this year, this year. Yeah, this year. Yeah, this year. This year, because this is the only yeah. time he's gonna yeah. have that usage right now. He didn't have it before. So this year, yeah. Brunson is two. I think Brunson is two. No, the Knicks may have two All NBA players. Mm. Is that possible? Well, listen, Woj, what, what, I, I seen Woj talk about it the other day on um, ESPN. He was saying that Jalen Brunson could, is he, he's going to get consideration even though he wasn't an all-star. The last time that happened wow. was last, last year with Pascal Siakam and then Jimmy mm-hmm. Butler at one point um, as well a couple years ago. He he didn't win. He did, he wasn't an all-star, but he got all-NBA nod. Um, I, I mean, I mean, you're going to have Darren Fox, all-NBA. You're going to have... Um, Booker, John. I don't maybe. think Booker's gonna make it. I don't think Booker's gonna make it. No, third. 
I don't I don't know because of his games play. Remember, he was out. Mm. Mm. So look, they got so so Jalen Brunson out of point guards in all NBA, he is eighth in scoring. Yeah. But out of all the East guards, he is second. And uh Young, Trey Young is in front of him. Oh, Trey Young is Trey Young, but Trey has Trey Young hasn't been better than Jalen Brunson. No, right, he hasn't. correct. So you can make. I mean, I, I would have to put in shooting guards to see what oh, um, James Harden. James Harden. James Harden is. I yeah, agree. I would have to, James Harden won. Well, point guards. Uh, I said point guards. I mean, if you Garland, we think about Garland. He's he's under him in, in scoring. What is he? What is, yeah, what is Garland. He Garland, uh, I would say is Garland is nine, right, right under him. Hmm. Harden averages Garland, twenty, and Brunson averages twenty three. I would say Garland and Drew Holiday are like. Drew Holiday is amazing. Drew Holiday has been holding it down when Giannis is out. He's amazing. He's an amazing basketball player. I, I, I would love put, to watch Drew would, Holiday play basketball. I would put that. How much Drew Holiday oh, average? Fred Van Vliet, too, in the top five in the East. As far as point guard. He averaged 19. Over Trey? Fred's been shooting terrible this season. Yeah, I wouldn't put him over Trey. He, no, I'm speaking as of late. He's been. Oh, okay. As, as of late, he's been playing. You heard? You guys heard about the um, the the rule, the, the possible rule change for minimum games for awards. What do you guys think about that? You know, what I mean, for MVP, for major awards, you got to play a certain amount of games to be considered for that award. What do you What do you think? I see you shaking your head, Chris. What you saying? I love it. Oh, you love it. Oh, you love it. You love you love it too, Henry. As as you as you would always say, the best ability is availability, and I Gotta feel be like there. you be considered as an MVP or a most improved defensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year. If you have players that are playing defense just as well as you, and they've been playing it, they've been there for their team more games. Mm-hmm. Than you. It's not fair. Draymond Green, have a qu- Draymond Green lost it one year. Lost defensive play of the year to Kawhi. Kawhi only played forty eight games. So he was pissed. So that's so that's, that's right. the reason. That's that's not fair. Yeah, that's not fair. That's not fair. No. It's funny because one year, um, one year I think uh, I think somebody was the scoring leader, and they and once they stopped, they had to play a certain amount of games Mello, to mellow. I remember that happened to Melo. He got he ended up getting hurt, and he played like sixty some games. And because he didn't play any more games or something like that, he became the scoring leader. And like KD was number two, and KD ended up playing more games, which made his his scoring average. Oh, go out. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, that was a Melo so, thing. So what do y'all think the um? What do y'all think the the minimum game? I don't know, but it's tricky with these minimum games. I think it should probably should be sixty games, but I think it's tricky. I with say these anywhere games. between sixty to sixty-five. Yeah, I, I say sixty-five flat. A lot of players, a lot of a lot of players, older play, um, retired players, or even like vets are speaking out. Not speaking out, but they're saying like, "Hey, like it's not that we don't want to, we don't want to play." These teams are telling us we're running hot, right? They're telling us, "Hey, we got to take." this game off. You know what I'm saying? We got to take a game off Tuesday and Thursday or something like that. Um, so what happens in that case? Like, because it gets tricky. Because if it's not the players all, all the time, because that's what they're saying. The players' defense is like, yo, it's that not might go us. Into, that might go into contract talk. Because uh, sometimes, sometimes if a coach is no, like, oh, this player, this player needs this amount of points or this amount of field go- goals to 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 get their incentives that might change contract talks like oh if i play if i play uh x amount of games you still got to pay me even though i didn't win mvp so you got to pay me like i won mvp because you want me to sit so you're going to have to pay me that's what i'm saying so it got to be like it got to be it, it got to be a new stat right if the team is mm-hmm. telling you if we're gonna do minimum games, I think it gotta be like a new. You know how they have DMPs, like coach's decision. Yeah. It gotta be a medical team's decision. You know what I mean? It gotta mm, be. Yeah, I know what you. I like that. 
team. This it's got to be something like that. So the the games are not counted against that player, right? Right. Like, oh yeah, these are you know what I mean. It got to be something like that. I think. Uh, I, I still think I still think player sitting is with no medical nothing, just rest is a is a not a thing a, a frowned upon thing. Like yeah, they could do it for rest or whatever, but they don't want them resting. The NBA don't want them resting. The NBA wants them to the play. NBA don't, but the team organization do because they invest in all this money into right, the, into the players. No and then the, their That's medical it. staff is saying like, yo, if he plays that game, he has a high risk of of pulling. Something. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, oh no, he shouldn't play. And there goes game. your twenty seven. There goes your twenty seven million down the drain. Exactly. Now you would have been a third seed. Now you in the play in, or you would have been in the play in. Now you a lottery team. Right. It's tricky. Yeah, it's, it's it's so much it's so much too. But I think I think it starts with with contract talk. I think that's it. It makes it it makes it easier. Hey, I'm, if I'm not gonna if I'm not gonna play to be considered a uh, six man of the year or 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 defensive player of the year, you you better pay me according accordingly. If it's your decision yeah. to sit, pay me. It's gonna it's gonna be something they're gonna have to test out. I mean, and they're gonna see, yeah. they're gonna end up finding out what works. But you need a whole year to test that out. That's yeah. just like that's that's just like you do. That's just like this whole rule with the um the challenge thing, right? Right. Yeah. They're figuring. They're finding out that you shouldn't be penalized for right, winning or lose a timeout. Yeah, that's dumb. If you win the challenge, your challenge, if you win the challenge, I right. always thought I always thought that was stupid. Exactly. So right. like exact, just like that. That's something that they you know they they tested, and now they're figuring it out. Like. Are they yeah, gonna do something like about that. that? Have you heard about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Yeah, they, they, that's in the works of being changed as well. Yeah, that's yeah. stupid. Like, like I love the challenge play. I love the challenge, people. and these and, rough are humans. And you reclaim your challenge, and you reclaim your. I think you gain your challenge back and your timeout back. You should, wow. maybe. Yeah, bro, you should not have to lose a challenge if you win the challenge. I mean, if you you shouldn't have to. Coaches, coaches should get two challenges in the first half and the second half. That's what I think, right? And right. even if you want to just do one, like, like they should get four in total for the whole game. That's too two, many. That's too two many. Two in the first half, two in the... I think one in the first half, one in the Why is it too many? Because the stoppage of the game? The, the reps got to call the right call. It's right. too many. It's too many possessions in the game for me to get one. It's just too many. For me to get right. one, like, it's not fair. Like, man, or two. And these refs are calling these awful calls. You see it. You be like, come on, bro. <laughs> I gotta save my right. I gotta save my my challenge for the last two minutes of the game. Right. Right. And you know that you would have won. You know. After because, you, because after they blew a bunch of calls. After the they half. blew a bunch of calls first half. The the assistant coaches be looking at it on on their on their iPads. Yeah. They'd be like, yo. You, you use it, and then the coach be like, ah, because of the time, he got to think about it. Like, ah, uh, smart, I'm not smart sure. Just play right. right now. When there's two minutes it's left, might later later. Game. Exactly. It make, it kind of makes it strategic, though. But that's the like, thing, right? But it's no reward for winning besides, like, the reward is, all right, you get that call reverse. The other mm. day, the other day, Jalen Brunson, right? He, um, it was him and Drew... It was him and somebody else. Uh, he had kicked somebody. Like they had bumped him. He he fell back and he flared his foot up. Right, he kicked him and shot. Made the shot. They called the foul and then called. They called the foul on the defender and then called a technical foul on Jalen Brunson for the kick. After they reviewed it, so they were <laughs> they reviewed it. Come on, like what are we what are we doing? <laughs> What are we doing, bro? And you know what's yeah. the most? The su- what sucks the most is we saw it this year with the Lakers and the Celtics. Wow, yeah, the right. Yep. Foul by J- Jason Tatum. Right. And then after the game, you want to talk about yeah, the what? NBA has decided. It's a waste of time at that point. What's the point? Why even? Why? Yeah, that that it just defeats the purpose. What's defeats the, the whole purpose. After the game, after you sold the game for us, you cost us the game. Now you want to let us know publicly in a notification that you blew the game? We already we, know. We that. already know. We've seen it. Why exactly? Like, why do we have to establish that again? I feel like the referee should have some kind of um grading system that we can see. It got to be some transparency. 
people feel oh, like... Oh, it's transparency. Two minutes, the two minutes that's after uh, end of the game, they tweeted cool. out. They sent a tweet. Hey, we're sorry. My bad. I'll be better. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. My bad. I, I'll get it right next time. Damn, I, I missed that one. And Damn, look, you was and right. That, and, hey, that was a win, and, and that was a win the Lakers need. Yeah. 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 It, oh, for sure. Oh, it, he was, it, it comes he was at least it, making one. That's what I'm saying. It comes down to it at the end of the season. Like, you need that. Yeah. They got to... I know, I know, I know. They supposed to, these, these refs the supposed back to back be the no calls. What? These, my fault. These refs supposed to be like the most. So it just makes it just make. I think with the NBA, it makes it seem like the refs are incompetent. But all in all, it's just saying like they're humans, and that's fine. And that's what has to be normalized. It has to be right. normalized that the that that the the. The official, the officials are humans, and the athletes are humans, right? So like, right. we we have they have that has to be normalized. We have they, right. there has to be some type of grading system for these for the same way we can see the players, we can see what the what shots they may miss and and make and all that extraordinary analytics stats. It should be the same for the reps a little bit. We should see something. You know what I, I mean, I like. Agree. We should see something, cause it's it's it, and and he, I think transparency helps the game. Yeah, transparency helps the game. But yeah, I totally agree. Eyes on podium podcast. Woo! How this moved? You moved it. Uh-huh. You're fired. Don't even worry about it. Eyes on podium podcast, baby. We appreciate y'all coming to our show. Like, comment, subscribe. What you saying, Chris? Say, so, Henny want to be Vince McMahon so bad, so bad, boy. Ow, I'm a ref. <laughs> oh, not here, ref. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Every every week, somebody else getting fired. Every week. And they end up you mean, they you mean Donald Trump? Show back, they you magically mean Donald show back. Trump. That's they magically the show. They right. magically show back up, just like the WWE. Every time. I got a graphic design major. I could edit everybody out, and I give myself a hairline. So what we doing? What we doing? <laughs> Listen, go, go. You give yourself a hairline. You should go ask LeBron for a job. Thanks. <laughs> and on that note, this is episode thirty-four. Thanks for joining us, and we're out.